Hi guys. It is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous, and I do mean over the top beautiful postcard perfect day. Here in the end times in paradise, it is 73 degrees. It's 73 degrees here on Saturday, August 13th. Uh, all of these damn heat waves and all of this shit everywhere, but we live in paradise. So anyway, uh, I just, I don't know uh, how many people on this planet have seen that crazy fucking video uh, that I put on right before I went to bed last night about uh, somebody hacking into my channel and putting on that uh, video of some woman jacking off a horse. <laughs> as they, they, they put it in as, the, you, you know, the introduction to Humpty Dumpty Tribe video. Somehow, somebody went in there, and, uh, I, I mean, this, the, the more I'm thinking about this, the more bizarre it gets. Uh, as I try to figure out what the hell happened, and, uh, you know, I, I innocently went on there trying to uh, check out Sandy's little video on uh, on environmental coffee house about canning cabbage or some shit and uh, what, what was the title of your video Sandy this is what I do to live so I thought I was clicking on a video uh, by Sandy this is what I do to live and a, a, this video of some woman jacking off a horse comes up, and, and I didn't know, and I'm looking at this shit, you know, I've had a couple of drinks, I'm tired as shit, and I'm going, what in the fuck? So for a minute, I, I, I you know, I, I, I was thinking, well, Sandy put the thing up as a joke, and, and I'm thinking, as funny as it is, uh, that, that is not Sandy shot. Sandy would not uh, have put that video up as a sick, twisted joke entitled it, uh, This is What I Do to Live, uh, as, as hilarious as it would have been. And uh, <laughs> I bet it would have gotten some damn comments. Uh, I said, there's no fucking way that Sandy Shellis put this video up. So I, you know, I'm trying to figure out what in the fuck is going on. And uh, I quickly, I mean, you can watch the video, and, and, and I quickly discover that what happened was that some joker hacked into Humpty Dumpty Tribe and deleted the video that I posted there four years ago, you know, which is the, if you click on Humpty Dumpty Tribe, you know it's the introductory video to what Humpty Dumpty Tribe is all about. So some hilarious fucking prankster went in there, deleted my welcome to Hun Humpty Dumpty Tribe, now get the hell out of here, and somehow replaced it with this video of th this woman jacking off a horse and how it got triggered by me clicking on uh, environmental coffee house is just one more part of this mystery and uh, so I, I I had it narrowed down to two suspects it, it either has to be Max over there in Finland or Bella Lugrisi, the artist formerly known as Osama Number no. 5. So uh, I called Osama this morning. He is denying it, and I believe the man that he is denying it. So my prime suspect is Max. But e even that, I mean, it just doesn't make any sense. And the only reason Max is my, is my prime suspect, because, uh, you know, I'm I know I've told this story before. Uh, you know, when uh, 
that little bitch Fiesta Cranberry, that conniving little bitch uh, Fiesta Cranberry hijacked uh, Collapse Chronicles uh, a couple of years ago when I shit canned her for the awful job she was doing. I, I forgot to change my username and password and Fiesta had my credentials to get in so she went in there and changed you know the credentials to get into Collapse Chronicles and hijacked the uh, the channel and so I called Max and I told him what happened and he goes don't worry Hambo we'll get your channel back now it took the dude good lord it took that man about eight hours about eight hours to hack Fiesta Cranberry are you following me to to hack into Collapse Chronicles I had no way of getting in there I was completely locked out so Max working from over there in Finland on his computer he spent at least six hours uh, hacking in to Collapse Chronicles and we went and put in new credentials. We, we, he went in there, he overrode uh, Fiesta Cranberry, uh, he del it, and changed the, uh, you know, changed the credentials, the username and password to get back into Collapse Chronicles. So we locked Fiesta out and uh, obviously I guess she never figured out how to do whatever the hell it was that Max did. And there was another time before that when some troll was fucking with me big time. And uh, I mean, I didn't care. I was just having fun with the troll. And I, and I get this comment and like, hey, man, you never have to worry about that motherfucker again uh, because I just killed his damn channel. So, you know, somebody went in, I can't remember who it was, went in there and yanked down uh, this dude's channel. And I'm going, what the fuck, you yanked down the guy's channel? So, this, I mean, this is just two examples. So, I know that, uh, that it can be done, but what, what's so weird, the, the major difference between when... Uh, Max went in there and hijacked Collac Collapse Chronicles to give it back to me while that was happening. Uh, on my computer, I mean, I was getting these, these messages from Google security, and I'm not talking just little blips. I'm talking, I, I mean, my screen uh, was flashing uh, with goddamn exclamation points. I, I mean, just, just over and over again, like, dude, you are being fucking hacked. You are being attacked. And uh, I don't know if Fiesta was getting the same shit on her computer that I was getting in on mine as, as, uh, as Max was over there hacking in uh, to Collapse Chronicles since even though I no longer had the credentials I guess Google still recognized me as the uh, channel owner so I was getting just these you know this mountain of uh, of warnings from Google security that somebody is hacking into your channel. So I don't know if they were offering ways for me to prevent the hack. I'm sure they were telling me what I needed to do to keep Max from hacking me. But of course, I wanted Max to hack me. So I just ignored the messages and uh, and, and but Google was not able to stop the hack. Uh, from their end, they were not able, Google security was not able to prevent, uh, to prevent Max from, uh, from, uh, hacking into the channel. And, but, but this whole shit with this thing, uh, about this, this, uh, horse jacking, 
instead of a hijacking, we have a horse jacking, is I never got a word from Google security. Not one fucking peep out of Google security that somebody w was uh, was hacking into my channel. So, I mean, this really gets weird. And uh, that someone was not only able to hack into my channel, but they were able to do it without ringing any alarms at Google security. Now, someone left a comment here the horse guy or whatever his name is, you know, left a comment that, you know, that this had to be somebody who works at Google to, to do what they did, uh, to, to go in there and, and rip down a video and replace it. Uh, I don't know. Let's get a... Realize, could you hack into a YouTube channel or not? Do you have the ability to do that if you wanted to? no interest. I'm sure if I put my mind to it, I could, but no interest. That's something I'd never do. All right. And I believe the bad. So if he had an interest in doing it, uh, but anyway, guys, don't think for one fucking minute that your channel cannot be hacked. Uh, because there, there you go. Uh, <laughs> now, uh, again, I'm assuming it was a friend of mine. It was a practical joker friend of mine. Uh, but whoever did it uh, has the power to rip down Humpty Dumpty Tribe. I, I'm assuming whoever did it could do the same thing to Collapse Chronicles, could rip that channel down. Whoever pulled this hilarious practical joke off uh, has the ability to go into your channel. And it's probably someone down here in the Doomosphere uh, who has the ability to go into your channel and, and, uh, and, and fucking hack your channel, uh, put in, uh, you know, whatever videos they want to in place of your content, rip your channel down. Uh, anyway, just letting you know, and you just wonder, you know, when something like this happens to you, uh, how many other things are you naively just going through life, you know, bumbling along uh, through life, uh, thinking that uh, your accounts are safe. I'm, I mean, if, if they can do this, you know, how about PayPal and Venmo and your fucking bank accounts and everything else? I mean, it, would it be that much harder to, uh, to hack into a fucking PayPal account than it is to a YouTube account? Uh, without tripping one fucking wire from PayPal security? I mean, I don't know. I mean, I, I, I don't know. Uh, but you better believe, uh, as any computer geek will tell you, that this is only the beginning. And uh, th these fucking hackers, uh, fortunately, this one was just obviously a friend of mine. Uh, fucking with me, but uh, it's when uh, it's not a friend of yours fucking with you that uh, you can get your life fucked up over this. Anyway, it is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous day here at Bugs in a Jar Farm, and uh, I'm going to get out there and enjoy it while I still can. Bye, guys.